Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a template to put in a provider schedule. So the first thing you need to do is either hit F9 on your keyboard or click on the open folder icon in the upper left corner. When you do that, it will bring open the open window function. So in here, we need to select a new function. And the one we're going to use is called day type maintenance. In order to get there, you can either hit the drop down and look for it by sorting through the letters of the alphabet and finding your day type maintenance or you can hit click in here and just type in DTM and boom it comes up right away. Click it, hit OK and that'll open up the day type maintenance window. So the first thing you're going to do is type in the abbreviation. Now we always start off our abbreviations with OA which stands for open access and that's just the naming convention that we've chosen to use. After that you can use the next two, three to four letters of the last name of the provider. So in this case I'm just going to use my own name so B A S and I'm just going to leave it at that. And then the last two to three letters can be something that will denote the, the name of this, this template because you may have multiple templates for the same provider. So this one, you may want to say, you know, Monday through Friday, whoops. Or you may want to put AM because this is the AM template that the doctor uses every morning, or you may want to put PM because this is, the, this is the template that is being used every afternoon. It just depends, and again, it's for your benefit, so there's nothing that you can do wrong here. It's just something that you that is for your benefit. So I'm gonna leave Monday through Friday. Do it again. Now in the description, which is next, we put a little bit more detail into what it is we're doing. So, so we'll type in OA once more, and now we'll type in the actual full last name of the provider. And at that point, you can now put whatever else that you need to help you differentiate and indicate what this template is going to be. So I'm going to put Monday through Friday again, and I'm actually going to put the start time and last visit time in here just for my benefit. And again, there's nothing you can really do wrong here. This is all entirely up to you and how you want to be able to, to find it when you're actually searching and when you're actually trying to put this into the schedule planning portion of the provider. So now once I've done that, the next thing I need to do is go over here on the left and choose a time slot. Now, if the provider is going to be on 15 minute slots, you just click on 15. If the provider is going to be on 30 minute, you choose 30, 60, 60, 20, 20. Now, if the provider is going to be on 40s, obviously you don't see a 40 here. So use 20 because that's a common denominator for 40. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at 30 minutes. So now, next thing I do is I'm going to select all of the slots that this provider is going to be seeing patients. So 830 is the very first slot. So I'm going to highlight that blue. Now I can hold down the control key and hit every single one that I want to choose up until lunch. So up until lunch, this provider is working, is going to see this many patients. So I've highlighted them all. Okay. There's another way to do it as well. Hold down the first, first click on the, the first item, then hold down the shift key and go down to the last item and click and they all get selected at once. Either way it works. The only point, the only thing you need to make sure and do is highlight the slots that you want to select. Now, down in the drop down below, you can hit the drop down and then you can start typing in. In this case, I typed in the word open because I want the open access activity types that are already created in the system. So I'm gonna go find the 30 minute slot. And there's, there's two of them, there's actually a few of them, but I'm just gonna choose the first one. That one will do the job. Once I select it, I hit select set activity type and boom, now they're populated. So now I'm going to go down a little bit more. I'm going to put the lunch in. It's really important that you do put a lunch in just so that we can have all the spots filled and not blank. Typed in the word lunch, clicked on lunch, hit set activity type, and there it is. And now I'm going to go ahead and choose the rest of the day. So one last appointment at 430. Okay, now I'm back to, click to writing in open, looking for the 30 minute slot again. There it is, clicking it, set activity type, and I'm done. And now all I have to do is click save and I'm done. 